<laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> James, tell us what you came out of. Well, uh, I came out of uh, about 30 years of uh, smoking marijuana and about 8, 10 years of heroin and cocaine. I uh, started smoking marijuana when I was 14. Started growing it when I was 30. And uh, and I I was really balling out. I uh, Not only did I grow a lot of marijuana, and when I mean grow a lot, I'm telling you, I grew a lot. <laughs> and I also um, was published in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a magazine twice. I showed people for a small fee on how to grow marijuana. Uh, so I did that and, 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 and was able to afford, uh, you know, other drugs, which I did. And among a lot of other things, prostitution and this and that, uh, I, I just, I, I did a lot of stuff that was completely wrong, but... Uh, and you shared the morning you're out with your coffee on your front porch. And all those cars come pulling up the road. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, December of uh, uh, 1999, um, I was out enjoying some coffee, and it was a nice summer day, and, or uh, December day, and, and I heard a whole bunch of, uh, we have a long gravel road that goes down full of trees. You can't see the road, but you can hear, you know, cars on the gravel. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so I hear, a car coming up, and I hear another car, and another car, and, and so I'm hearing lots of cars, and I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, lo and behold, here comes a county sheriff, and he, he, he stopped and looked over at me, and put it in reverse, and followed up where I was, and, and, and following behind him was, I don't know, eight, ten staters. Uh, state police, uh, drug enforcement. Uh, they, they didn't come for coffee. No, they weren't coming to visit. They were coming to take me. So uh, I, I uh, spent two years in, in Shelton, a lockup, and did some time. Uh, I worked release and and went out, and and that was when I found out about the legalization of well, medical endorsed marijuana. And um, do you think your future is growing? <laughs> it, it was growing indeed, Pastor. It, uh, I, I, I thought that uh, I had reached my pinnacle uh, of growing until the legalization or the medical part of it. And uh, so that's when I really was uh, ramping up and did a lot more and, and again, uh, showed people and stuff. And, and but your sister, your sister loves the Lord. Absolutely. And she found out about Freedom House? Yeah, uh, she has a friend uh, that works for the Union Gospel Mission in Portland. And she directed me here. Uh, she told my sister, you know, check out Freedom House. So we did a tour, and, and I saw what I liked, and I knew what I needed. And uh, thank God for that, that uh, I was able to, at least for one time in many years, recognize that, hey, you know, I need help. This is just, I, I reached the end of my ropes. And you made a commitment while you've been here. Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, yes, I did. Um, it was uh, January 16th I was saved, and, and a few days later, um, the Holy Spirit gave me, you know, these spiritual eyes, and and, I, and so I, I kind of, a few days later after that, I, I kind of realized what I had done wrong, and and, and though convicted uh, and, 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 and forgiven, uh, I, I gotta tell you that it's a rough road, but uh, I'm here to, uh, to work for the Lord, and and do what he has, he's calling for me. I'll ask you the same question. What's been the biggest surprise? The biggest surprise to me is how faithful the Lord is. Um, you know, I was kind of a skeptic and like, well, you know, prove it and stuff, but uh, watching the healing in my family, watching my brothers grow, people praying over me. I had a brother pray over me about my knees. Uh, they were hurt and stuff. And, and I was like, he asked me, how are your knees from? I said, they still hurt. And, uh, and he prayed for him again. And I was like, okay. Well, a few days later after that, uh, my knees just, one day I woke up and I was like, you know what, I have, for the last three weeks, no pain in my knees. Amen. I, I, Amen. I, have no, 
just was like, yeah. hallelujah. Wow. So, yeah. so that's a benefit in heaven too. <laughs> that's a great, great story. And what do you hope for once you complete, James? What do you want to do? Uh, well, I don't know uh, exactly. I, you know, I'm living, you know, waking up every day, being blessed every day. Uh, just, just hoping that uh, maybe I can serve and do some ministry work in town here at the coast. It really comes down to it. I'll, I'll go wherever I'm called. And, uh, How about that? Do what I can. Yield it. Thank Amen. God. Amen. Let's get in praise.